What's happening, guys? Uh, this is how to do an oil change on a 83 to 85 Yamaha Riva 180. Uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. My mind is thinking what is going on around me. Um, so how you do the oil change right now. I'm just getting a socket and a stension quarter inch tension so the tools you're going to need is a uh, number five hex key driver whatever you want to call it uh, if you got a screwdriver here's this is what I got this is no, uh, number five that's a number five I got a quarter inch six uh, 12 point socket that just goes in. If you got a screwdriver, that'd be perfect. Got a quarter inch ratchet. Um, I also got a stanchion bar so I can reach in there a little bit better. And you're going to need a three quarters or a 19 mil uh, to drain the oil. Um, let me get down here with you guys. Um, and you're gonna need uh, so that's the tools you need uh, and you need a drain pan I hope you knew that by now I got a nice drain pan you're gonna need uh, to go get a filter for this bike uh, is a K&N-145 uh, 14145 filter uh, so just get the O-rings if you have if you could I'll put that in description, the link to the oil ring. Uh, this is the oil I'm running. It's some Shell Retala T4 1030. Should be running 1040, but it's getting close to winter and I want to run. I'm going to throw the 1030 in for right now to do a oil flush on it. Next year I'll be doing a, another, excuse me, another uh, oil change. And you guys are wondering about the filter, all this is a cartridge style oil filter. So there's your filter. Um, yeah. So the next thing is, I'm missing a screw in here. So I don't know what ex uh, exactly is going on. Why you need a screw, but there's supposed to be a Phillips or crosstalk or whatever the hell you want to call it in there. Uh, mine's missing. I also got the bike laying on his kickstand or side stand instead of his jack stand this stand right here because you got to drain that bolt and you also got to uh, tilt the bike to drain the oil out so is it, like I said it's a 19 or a 3 quarters to do this oil change and of course you guys can't see what the hell I'm doing camera won't go my way I don't like it Hey, yo. And I haven't done an oil change on the bike for four years since I've owned it. I don't even know if it's had an oil change done to it since the bike. Ah. Chip the paint. Oh well. Not like it's gonna hurt it done. Let's touch it up with some black paint. So I know this bike is overfilled. So that ain't anything unusual for me to overfill a bike. It's a long oil plug. And of course I can get it all over the floor and everything. Well, don't look too bad, guys, honestly. But of course, like I said, I don't know if this bike was ran out of oil or not. So that's why I'm doing oil change. So I don't know when I transported it, when it got transported here, it drained all the oil off the bike or what happened. So right now is a good time. Let's just slow down. And yes, this bike takes quarter and a half oil if I haven't said that by now. So anyway, it's a good time now to take the bike and tilt it. Yeah. So grab hold your bike and tilt it. And it's still draining. I'll get you guys back in a few minutes. All right, guys. Bike is done draining now. Now we'll just go in here, give this nice snug. Um, now let's move this oil over. Gotta figure out how 
set you guys up so you can see what I'm doing next. Yeah, you guys should be able to see this now. Now, go down over here, right to this. Yeah, you guys can see this right here where I'm pointing at. This right here is your oil filter. The other one is your oil fill plug. And I think I got a leak on that, and I'm going to have to fix that in the future. Oops, you guys can't see what I was doing. And this, ga this oil smells gassy. Really bad, and that's why I'm glad I'm draining it now. So, let's see if I can get you guys set up. On something. I want the oil filter box. Yeah, that'll work. So it should be three bolts. Let me move this out of the way before I start freaking wearing it. So it should be one here. Looks like I'm not going to need the stunchion bar. I've never did an oil change on a, on these type bikes yet, so that's all I'm learning with you guys. And the only uh, video I could find on oil changing this bike is a really shitty video. He said a lot of ums and um or um, um, um. My God. If you're gonna do a video, do a video. I wanna know the details, inside and out. Even though I do a shitty video job, I guess. Oh, well, back in the day I did. But I was using a toaster for a freaking camera, so what do you expect? But nowadays, I got a good Sony HD handy cam. I'm not too mad about the camera. It does what I need to do now. So if you notice, I did the two bottoms first, and I'm leaving the very top alone. And a very good reason why I'm doing that. A is easier to easier to control your drain flow. If you guys know what I mean by that. This sucker don't look like it has been changed. I think there's only three on this. Yeah, there's only three. Alright, it's moving now. That's good. I see it moving. Just a little stuck. There's third bolt. Yeah, this bike was out of oil almost. So it wasn't a good idea starting like I did without checking the oil. Got some sludge in the thing, which is not a bad sign. No metal shavings in the oil. This is an e EM go. EM go. So there is some sludge in the filter, which is a damn good sign. Yeah, some sludge in the very bottom of it, which that's even. I love to see sludge in the oil filter. I don't know how well you guys see that. That's sludge. That's good. That means the motor's running good. I love seeing sludge. If I didn't see sludge, we would have had problems. Sludge is a very good thing in an engine. So I think this place what got 12. I think it's got like 12 thou on it. 12,000 miles. It's been beat to hell. You guys can all see the cap. You guys see the sludge in the cap. So that's all good. That's Yeah, it's mixed with gas and oil. I don't know how well the camera will focus in. You see like water. Or maybe you guys can't see it. So you get see that water and yeah, it's water and oil and gas all mixed together. So that's a good thing that I am changing it. So now, one thing that I am screwed is this bike needs a new O-ring. And I don't have one for it. So now I also can't get the O-ring out of here. So give me a minute and I'll be back. Alright guys, we're back. Can you get the O-ring out of here? Out of this cover? Covered, 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 covered. Cover to the bike. Um, the L ring still got a little, it's still a little pliable, which is good, but I don't like it, it's a little flattened out. What we're gonna use is Ultra Black ATV Silicone. This is a uh, maximum oil resistance gasket maker 
type of silicone. This is temporarily, it's actually gray. I don't know why you say black, but it's actually gray. This is temporary until I can get these two gaskets ordered in. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing another oil change to this bike because of the sheer amount of uh, water and gas this bike's had. So right now this is going to be plenty good enough to do a pre-run on the oil change and then we'll get the proper gaskets in and we'll change them out. But for right now, we're just going to lube up this O-ring to give this bike a little bit more of a fighting chance to cure and hopefully see if she can run down the road. Right now, I don't even know if this bike can move out of this garage. I mean, I've had it fired up, idling, it throttles up, yeah, that's all fine and dandy. But I don't know if she will move on her own power yet. So, that's all gonna be determined after I get some other crap made on this bike. So right now, I don't know if this bike's gonna run or die or what it's gonna do yet. Right now, what I'm doing is obviously wiping off the excess and on the rim, you don't want this shit in the oil. All right, you guys are probably wondering how this filter goes back on. The open hole, the open hole goes in to that open hole there. This rubber part goes on the back side of the filter. So it should look like that, if anybody's ever forgotten how this stuff goes back on. So now we just take, I'll take the filter. Just wanna make sure she's gonna fit up in there. Oh, we got it from falling. Um, give this crap at least four hours to cure. Four, uh, see, they say about 24 hours to fully cure before filling with uh, fluids uh, or return, but about four hours you, you can, it'll, in a four hour period, it'll be ready to rock and roll, but 24 hours be fully cured. Just snug them up, they don't have to be tight. This is a limo we are dealing with. So you don't know you don't need to go haywire on a limo. That's why I'm only using a quarter inch ratchet. See, but you can still put the oil in this bike. Just don't start it after 24 hours. And I can't start it anyways until tomorrow because I got to fix. I got to rebuild the throttle cable. And that's going to take some time. Right now, I'm just going to go back through and make sure that these are all snug because I don't want to fire it up and peel gas oil over the ground. I mean, that don't sound fun. Now it's four dollars a quart. So there's that. There's that part done. Now you guys are probably wondering how you fill it. Well, first off, guys. We gotta drop our kick uh, center stand out back down. Now over here is where you fill the bike. Um, I have a modified um, cap because the one that's to the bike is missing. But this is how you fill it. Um, yeah, just set you over here. I think you can see. So the quarter and a half of oil that you're gonna have to put in this bike which is not bad. Now you guys are probably wondering, why am I using Rotel T for? Pretty damn good oil. I mean, Castro is the next step up, but the problem is my local 
place does not carry the 1040, nor do they carry the 1030. They carry the 530 and the 520. So that kind of sucks. Uptown, but. Now you just want to make sure you only put a half of this cord in. You do not want to do no more than half. And I will do another video on the back half of this bike. Of the planetary gear system in the back. I want to call, nope, still got a little bit more for the bike. And being honest, guys, I'm sitting right at four and a half quarts now, which is not a good thing. And I'm leaking oil, so I don't know what's exactly going on. Four and a half quarts of oil fills this bike up, so I don't know if that's right or wrong. Right now, I got I see oil leaking. I'm hoping I do not have an oil leak in the seal. So let me show you guys also where this oil leaks come from. Alright guys, false alarm. I just got this dying down. It's probably from when I was filling it. was leaking a little bit. I know you guys have fallen. Yeah, you guys wet screen. Uh, another thing for you guys to know something. Before you guys change the uh, oil on this bike. Look straight up in here, right between your oil filter and your fill, uh, your fill side. Right between them, look straight up. There is a number, 171 CM squared 3. That's a 171 cc motor. So you always want to check that. Uh, that's where your number will be at, right there. This 171 cc moped instead of 180, and then yeah, I think that's the only marking I've seen. And there's a number up here. Yeah, see, there's another marking up there. It tells you the placement of the head. So, just gives you a little peace of mind when you go look for parts. Make sure that the bike still has the 171 cc motor in it so that's how you do an oil change on a bike um, on these Yamaha Reaper 180s so catch you guys on the flip side have fun alright peace out